How's it going everybody? Sebastian here bringing you a very quick video of some items I picked up at Disneyland Park and they're not going to cost you a pretty penny. Now I do live in Los Angeles and that puts me at a bit of an advantage, but if you're going to come down for the holidays or for the season of the force in general, I do recommend checking these items out. First up is a TIE Fighter popcorn bucket that was only 20 bucks and you can get custom Star Tours name tags for about $10. These are really, really cool. So let's go take a closer look at these together. Alrighty guys, the first item I wanted to show off to you is the smallest and the least expensive of the two. It is the Star Tours employee name tag. It is customizable up to 11 characters and you can have your name translated into Arabesh. I chose Coruscant as my planet of origin. The blue and orange color scheme is of the current ride. They were sold out of the pass holder edition, but I will get to that in a moment. On the back, there is a standard pin back. It's removable with a you know, I'm sure with a little bit of force it's stuck on there with a double-sided adhesive tape, and I know I'm going to probably snap on a magnetic badge holder as I like undamaged shirts quite a bit. I think for $10, this really can't be beat at all. This is a really, really gorgeous piece of Disneyana, and if you're a Star Wars fan looking for something special for yourself or that special someone, this is the one thing, once I saw it in the park, I knew I had to walk away with uh, straight away. So do not hesitate if you see these. These are really cool, so get them while they still have them. Now, on to the sheet. The four badges you can choose from are the Pass Holder Exclusive Badge, which has the Pass Holder designation. Not only that, it is in the color scheme of the original Star Tours ride. When you move over, you have the current iteration of Star Tours with a larger selection of planets, and you still have the Disneyland and Walt Disney World designation. Then the Rebel Alliance version of the badge, which has planets specific to the original trilogy for the most part. You've got Alderaan, you've got Bespin, you've got Dagobah, you've got the Yavin 4 planet. Very, very cool stuff. It also has the Jedi Knight designation versus the Jedi Master of the previous two. And then the Empire badge, which has the Mustafar planet and the Star Killer base, which will be in The Force Awakens. Also, you have Stormtrooper here, along with things like Apprentice. So I think the choice selection all depends on what colors and what planets you want. So please ignore my terrible handwriting down here at the bottom, but you do have 11 slots. On the back of this though, is something from the older days of Disneyland in the 90s, the Arabesh Translator. Now, if you remember when the Indiana Jones ride first came out, they gave out these little cards sponsored by AT&T to translate the language on the ride. And now all over Tomorrowland and the Star Wars specific stuff, this language is everywhere. So it's nice to have a really, really cool little decoder that you can take around and start translating all those signs in the park. Very, very cool. I think I'll take a high res scan of this and leave a link down in the description for you. Last, certainly not least, and certainly the funniest of the two items is the First Order TIE Fighter popcorn bucket from The Force Awakens. This is absolutely hilarious. Not only does it hold popcorn, it runs you $20. I got it sans popcorn because I didn't want to bother cleaning out the inside, but it's also really, really big for a popcorn bucket. Here is the First Order Stormtrooper Black Series figure that's six inches tall, standing right next to the TIE Fighter and it's big. It's very, very big, and it holds quite a bit of popcorn as well. It also comes with a detachable Force Awakens strap, so you can wear your TIE Fighter to the premiere of Star Wars, munching on popcorn like a nerdy Flava Flav. And in the top, where you normally load the TIE Pilot, is where you put all of your popcorn. Really, really cool stuff, and the detailing is pretty nice on the ship in and of itself. The detailing comes out on the wings. It's very, very minimal though. They didn't go too crazy with the detailing. That is the back of the ship. The guns came out really, really nice. There's detailing on the bottom as well. So I'm sure if you wanted to modify it to look a little bit better than it does now, and I already think it looks pretty good, then this is definitely something to at least take a look at, as with the badge in and of itself. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're going to be down at Disneyland Park for the holidays or for the season of the Force, I do at least recommend checking these items out before they disappear when the season of the Force is over. I think they're really, really cool, and they're not only very unique Disney items, they're very unique Star Wars items. So at least go check them out. They're $10 and $20, respectively. 
really, really cool, really unique, and most importantly, really, really fun. And hey, you can't have enough Star Wars items, am I right? So once again, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will catch you next time.